Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another glorious day lies ahead of our glorious nation as we continue to make progress, as we continue to see the future unfold before our very eyes. Folks, I hope you've been enjoying this series, and if you have been, you know what to do. Don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing the things that I do when I do them. Again, and as always, I will not bore you with a prolonged introduction. That's all I wanted to mention. And with that mentioned, let's go ahead and get this party started, shall we? That The timing of that music was just too on point. <laughs> the first order of business today is actually to get a new name in for Karasna. I got an excellent suggestion last time, uh, in the comments of last time, I should say. Uh, it actually is, is, surprisingly, it's very similar to Karasna. Uh, and it's a bit of a, a play on words, I suppose, so I'm going to be butchering the pronunciations here. I apologize for that. Uh, feel free to correct me and teach me. I never mind that at all uh, in the comments. But the name of this area shall henceforth be uh, Krasna, which is a play on uh, Krasni, which is uh, Czech, if I recall correctly, uh, for nice. So it's like a it's like a play on the word for nice. Uh, you know, so I, I quite like that. It's, uh, you know. I just feel like it works on many levels, and plus it, it kind of is, is similar to uh, the name we had uh, previously, so, you know, it feels like a natural evolution almost. I don't know. I like it for, for quite a few reasons, so thank you very much for that. And again, folks, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always open to name suggestions for anything that, uh, you know, you spot that is unnamed or, or you know, maybe, maybe I've pointed out as unnamed. Uh, a lot of the time things will slip past me because there's a lot <laughs> there's quite a bit i mean everything gets a, a label when you go beyond a certain point right anyway so that's the uh, the first order of business taken care of uh the rest of this session will have a fairly varied approach i do want to try and get these bad boys up and running if possible uh, I would like to also maybe try and get some work done as far as unemployment and stuff is concerned. And I got a couple of great suggestions with regards to that. Just stuff that's been kind of like uh, piling up. And I think it's now time to, uh, you know, just kind of deal with all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of pressure and it's time to, 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 to release the pressure valve, as it were. Um, now, we've got 89,000 people in our glorious nation. Uh, that number has, I think it's been... Uh, Kind of reaching that 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 tipping point. I think it's starting to stagnate a bit. Uh, so hopefully, with some of the new housing built up over here at uh, at Smalley Nets, we'll see uh, a shift there. Again, a couple of buildings being built over here. We have some spots available for some of these buildings over here as well. Though these guys are very quickly going to fill up. We're going to have to actually expand Smalley Nets sooner rather than later. Get some of these uh, housing. Uh, units built up over here and, and whatnot, uh, or we might want to consider building the uh, the, the larger kind of um, you know more uh, more more skyscraping city uh, down over here instead. Something to think about because uh, again we do want this to be uh, a, a city, so to speak, on on both sides of the river. Uh, one side being rather oh I just realized this one side being rather small in its stature, and the other one being rather uh, tall, I suppose. Um, so I might want to consider that as we need more and more room for people to live in. Uh, unemployment, though, like I was kind of saying earlier, skyrocketing. Bit of a problem. Our average unemployment rate is much higher now than it ever has been. Um, you can see a very horrifying trend over there. So I'm going to try and sort that out at least a little bit today uh, alongside a couple of other things as well. Overall, though, I'm, I'm happy to say that uh, you know we, we've solved quite a few problems that were starting to creep back up. You can see that dip that happened, that huge dip that happened. And I'm glad we've bounced back from that. Uh, health is improving, or it has improved, but now it looks like it's starting to dip again, so we'll have to take a look at that. Government loyalty looks like it's on the uptick once more. Uh, gotta just blast some more uh, propaganda through the uh, the radio waves, I suppose. Uh, overall, though, things are looking alright. This religion sympathy. Okay, starting to dip again. That's good. I think every time new people... I don't know, actually, because we're, uh, we're not getting immigrants or anything, so where is that religious sympathy coming from? Um, I don't think any of our radio stations or, or any of our broadcasts are, are, you know, bolstering religious sympathy. They're not doing anything to downplay it, but religious sympathy typically uh, drains the longer people don't have access to, like, a church or what have you, which people in our nation have never had. Either way, average productivity at least is excellent, if this is even a measured entity or quantity or whatever you want to say. Uh, and our average lifespan isn't too bad either. Uh, de I mean, deaths and escapees... L looks like... You know, compared to our, our recent all-time highs, uh, the, uh, the the migrants leaving our nation uh, has certainly uh, certainly dropped. Can we actually take a look at immigrants over here? Yeah, we haven't had any immigrants in a very long time. 
I, I love looking at these charts, honestly. It, it just, it, there's just something about it. There's just something about looking at these charts that just feels so cool. Basic education is looking good. University education is skyrocketing. This is very good to see. Uh, and red is no education. Looks like it's it, it's kind of reached its like highest point and it's starting to go back down. Again, babies get counted into no education, I've been told. So that's obviously not ideal. I also can't wait until we can start producing computers. Uh, we can build radios, actually TVs as well. Surely we're going to have uh, those manufacturing opportunities come up, right? Sometime in the near future. Well, or maybe not near, but sometime in the future uh, as development continues. Uh, with that said, I think we're good to hit play. There's a couple of things, like I said, I want to uh, to tackle. Uh, this construction will continue. We've got a couple things going on over here. That's all good. These giant uh, windmills will be operating and providing power until we are able to produce nuclear energy. Um, and yeah, we're having some trouble over here getting workers. Now, there, there was some concern raised with regards to just, do we have enough workers? Let, let, let's take a quick look over here. 100 for the uranium mine. Um... 80, 120, 240, so 340 so far, right? 340, 340 plus another 130, that's uh, 470, 470, okay? 470 plus another 120, that is 590. So let's say 600, we need 600 people, right? This is 96, this is 128, 160, 160, 160, 160. Okay, so let's say 100, and, let's say 150 on average to make up for that 96 and and the 120 something. Um, so let's say 150 on average, right? So we need four buildings to supply workers to all of our uh, services up over here, and we have more than four. So this actually should be enough. However, uh, we need of course extras, right, for all these. We got 630, 630, 630 plus 55, 6. Uh, 55, 655 plus another 12, 667, 667 plus another 60, that's 727, 727 plus another 100, 827. Okay, see now we're now we're talking. So 827. Let's say let's say 900 workers, right? Oh dear. Okay. Hmm. Four, five, six. 6 times 150 is exactly 900. <laughs> what, are the ch what are the chances the math works out like that? Um, again, there's some wiggle room there, right? But uh, as these guys get built up, I and mean, we do have these two being built up as well. So that's another 300, right? And these guys, okay, we, we should be fine. It's just a matter of distributing those workers. All right, cool. So in that case, yes, let's go ahead and hit play. Uh, let time move forward, and as we let time move forward and move past uh, my birthday over here, I can't help but remark on that. Uh, I'm going to do something which... I was hoping not to have to do, but I feel like it's not a terrible idea. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do it, and if you guys think it's a it's a bad idea, I'm, I'm going to undo it next time. Uh, but basically what I want to do is, it was pointed out that despite how... Oh, hey, look, we've got... Oh, man, it, feel, it just feels so good to see the highway be used. And look at that, look at that. One going over, one going under. Like, it just, it just feels so good to see it in action, you know? Um, oh, it makes me wonder. See, it was pointed out in the comments that no matter how efficient the uh, highway might actually be or feel or what have you, uh, at the end of the day, truth be told, uh, because it is a longer path as far as the AI can tell, uh, it's just not going to use it, right? And so it was suggested that maybe I actually make these little intersections, these little cuts, um, so that the, uh, the AI has a shorter route. And even though it looks like it works normally, the AI will be using the, the shorter uh, routes, the shortcuts as it were, to actually use the highway and we'd see more traffic on the highway as a result but you know literally as i'm going in to do that i'm starting to see some cars moving around i mean okay hold on hang on a second, hang on a second. let's see where are you coming from you are coming from the uh okay where do you live Krasna i700ya where do you work perhaps where are you coming from i wish i could see that yeah yeah you live over here. You heading to the Ministry of Culture, so you must have driven up over here. No, but you came from a lot further out. I thought. Right, I didn't see them climb up. Yeah, they would have climbed up over here if they were coming from from here. So where are you coming from? Must be from work, I imagine. Hmm. Eighty-nine years old. I'm curious. I'm curious. See, like, what I was going to say was, uh, 
literally as I'm about to come in and make these changes, I'm seeing the highway actually getting some use. Look at that, we, we got, like, we got people actually using this thing. Um, and so that makes me wonder, like, okay, well, where had you gone? It's their free time, so they'd driven off somewhere to do something, right? Where had you gone? Uh, why had you gone there? I mean, driving for about, uh, I guess, an hour and a half or so. Three, over three hours total, but an hour and a half in this car. Um, and so it feels like the highway is kind of working. I don't know. I'll, so, again, sorry. I keep interrupting myself. As I'm going in to make this little shortcut edit, I'm seeing the highway actually get some use. So I'm uh, hesitating now if I actually want to do that shortcut edit and if, I, if I'd rather just kind of see how far we can push this. Y'all let me know in the comments, should I do that shortcut edit or should I not? It's a little unrealistic, obviously, because cars will be, you know, it, it kind of defeats the purpose of a highway, kind of. In-game it won't, but in real life it would. Uh, it would it would cause uh, junctions and slow down at, at, at these junctions uh, where we have uh, the need for traffic lights and stuff. Uh, but in game, obviously, from an AI perspective and how the game is programmed at the moment, it would work. Um, it would it would make the highway a bit busier, I think. But you know, what? I'm feeling pretty good about this right now. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I either will or will not make those adjustments accordingly. Oh man, it's pretty cool. I'm sorry. I I know I've spent way too much time just looking at the highway in action. But it is, it is, it is cool that it's, uh, it's getting some love. My God, that makes me so happy. Uh, all right, so that's that. I was going to do that, but I guess, I guess I'm not anymore. Uh, I wanted to take a look at our, yes. See, it was pointed out to me, and, and we've known this for some time, but it keeps, like, being one of those things that we set aside. Like I was saying, right? It's just, like, this pressure uh, that's been building up all of these stresses that we need to do something about, uh, and we just haven't been. So this pressure's been building up, and now it's time to finally kind of uh, release the valve. Uh, so to speak. We have a bunch... See, like, okay, look, maybe we should leave more workers uh, over here, right? At the end of the day, what difference does it make if we're leaving more workers over there? It's the, the same workers are coming down over here to work, uh, and there's empty spots over here as well, right? I'm sure plenty of, even when uh, a, a train load of 300 people come through. Let's actually see. Let's take a look at this uh, this train car over here and see what happens. They're going to come through over here. A bunch of people are going to get out. Is everybody go going to get out, though? Does everybody have a place to go? Yes, everybody has a place to go. Okay. See, I almost wonder, do I want to add another train to this line? It's a very complex line, and I feel like it runs on this very delicate balance, you know? A very delicate balance. So do I instead add... Well, I have a couple of options. I could add parking lots so people can drive to work at the mine. But I don't think we have a lot of space for that, to be perfectly honest. Uh, or I could get a bus that picks people up, you know, like up over here, let's say. I'm sure we have a lot of unemployment over here. Picks people up over here somewhere. And then drives them over to, um, I guess I would have to drive them over to the mines directly because that's what we're doing, right? We're picking people up over here when they get off the train. Oh man, geez, I don't, I don't know. I'll be honest with you, I don't know what the best call here is because we're already, we already are pretty busy. I just wonder slash worry about a jam. But let's see. Look at that. Already over 200 people waiting over here as no train is headed towards... Like, this train is headed towards the uh, the station. And I guess a couple of buses are picking a couple of people up. I just want to see what happens over here. Just trying to improve this unemployment situation, right? Because it, it is a serious problem. By the time that train gets over here, what are we looking at? See this number fluctuating right now? That's telling us that some people are, uh, are leaving. The number, like, was going up and down just moments ago. And that was people leaving. This bus is going to come through, pick up a bunch of workers. That's our other option, right? Is to pick up workers from here and distribute them elsewhere. But the thing is, we just have empty mines that could use workers. Wait, where is this train? It's still making its way over, eh? This thing is going to just hit 500 when this train arrives, it looks like. We go past 500, actually. You know what? Yeah, maybe we do get another train over here, bringing people over to here. And doing the same, doing the same circuit, basically. It could cack everything up, and if it does, then we'll go ahead and, uh, and and remove that new addition. Assign that train elsewhere. But you can see this one comes through, picks up 500, and leaves behind 300. Yikes. And that's happening over and over and over again. Look at these gaps, right? The next train back is where? Ah, oh, see, and, and, but now you get this stack of back-to-back. Back. It's a tough one. And this guy over here... These guys are all unemployed because I'm guessing a lot of workers from Brixtonia are coming over here and uh, and working away, right? 
Are you not, um... Hmm. Got a lot of cars over here to export. Well, this guy's been stuck here for a while. Because of how many of these trains are coming through. There's no crossing for him to get to the other side. So he can't come in at the same time as one of those trains. Okay, so I, I think adding a train over here would definitely uh, make this space too busy. I'm just curious over here. This guy's going to leave. Is that going to give enough time for, for this train to come through? I wonder if... Take a look at the uh, semaphores here. Yeah, it's confusing. Why didn't he cross over up here, you know? To get to the other side. And, and if I make that change, if I make this into a chain, will it break everything? See, this is a problem. This guy comes through. He's going to top up. But there's not enough work to be had over here. I just want to watch this guy's arrival and see how many people get off the train. Oh, this is nice, though. I really like how this place has worked out. You're going to come through. I wonder, I wonder. If I provide alternative employment at, uh, at Brixtonia. Not my workers. No, I'm looking for... Some of these guys are still not employed, eh? You'll remember we have the uh, bus stop over here. Picking people up and dropping them off over here, I think, right? All right, let's take a look. Moment of truth, 500 workers on board right now. Do they all empty? If not, how many stay on the train? If they stay on the train, where do we send them? All right, quite a few dropped off. Okay, looks like we're emptying this time. I guess it's a matter of, of timing. I, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about that, I'll be honest. Where are you headed? You still have 135 workers. Slowly ambling over to the Studensky bus stop number two. You got a long way to go, buddy. Why are you moving so slowly? Is there a construction vehicle ahead of you? No. Moving very slowly. How long are these people spent on the vehicle? Wow, three hours. Why are you so slow? 30 kilometers per hour? I need, I think I need new buses. We've got some more modern options. Now again, I mentioned the mod list that I, uh, that I got last time. We need, uh, we need more modern buses, I think. All right, you know what? This is way too slow. That doesn't make any sense though. These guys have a much higher top speed than that. Um, if we go to select, yeah, you should be moving at literally twice that speed. Oh, I have it listed over here as well. What's causing this trouble here? Got fuel. It's not an uphill climb or anything. If anybody can, uh, can riddle me this, please let me know why my... Uh... Oh, you know what? I know why. Because of line spacing. That's why. You come all the way here and you only drop off two workers. How does that make any sense? Got room for so many up here. And room for so many up here. Okay, that doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and view line detail and turn off line spacing. And that will speed these guys up. 60 kilometers per hour. I wonder if I have some faster buses available. Actually, hold on before I do that. Am I going to have to get rid of the line spacing for everybody so they start moving a bit more quickly? Because see, at the end of the day... If workers don't get to a destination in time, they'll... Uh, they'll, you know... Disappear. And, and, and moving at 30 kilometers per hour for the entirety of the ride, these guys are not getting where they need to get um, quickly enough. That's obviously a problem. Alright, let's take a look at... Our options here. If I purchase a bus, for you. Um, what are some of our newer buses? The Volga bus over here, 170 passengers. Okay. 146, 88. Kind of speeds are looking at 110 kilometers per hour, 90, 120. I like this Volga bus. 
Um, 110 passengers, 9 kilometers per hour. What's up with you? 130 kilometers per hour. 102 passengers. Okay, not too bad. Got to gotta figure this out, right? Because, like, if we get the, uh, the Volga bus, 5270, 120 kilometers per hour, 111 passengers. It's a, the, the numbers are close enough, I would say. Can we get them? What colors can we get them in, though? Okay. Can we get you in red? Uh, very bright red. Uh, not so bright red. We got the school bus yellow. Quite a few colors, actually. Why don't we go ahead and... Oh, you know what? It's a little too early. A little too early to be building these. I'm trying to stay uh, reasonable. So let's go with this one. Um, unfortunately, no colors on that one. How about this one, then? 88 passengers. Damn. Oh, this one's not bad. 85 kilometers per hour, 160 passengers. Again, I'm trying to stay reasonable with my, my time uh, stretch, as it were. We do the, the Maz 203. And the reason why I'm doing that is because then we have a reason to upgrade again when we get to 2012 or what have you, right? We've got the bright red. We've got the school bus yellow. A couple of different stripe options. Blues, greens. Sure. Go ahead and make some of these red ones, I guess. 1.6 million rubles is nothing to us. What about this one? 2004. At least this one's a modern vehicle just produced, you know, fresh off the lines. Sure, let's go ahead and purchase this brand new um, blueprint model, I suppose. Go for it. Done. Decision made. Go ahead and select our buses. Get a couple of these guys coming out in red. And we'll, we'll start to chip them out and, 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 and see if we can't... Uh, yeah, see if we can't get uh, get people moving a bit faster. I think that is also part of the problem. Uh, but again, the the other problem remains. What do we do about these mines? I mean, I could uh, get some buses getting people picked up over here and dropped off over here. I suppose that's not a terrible idea. That, actually, we don't have a road connection over here. Coming back to bite us in the butt here. Not uh, never never foresaw this being an issue. So we could get three buses, one for each of these mines, basically. Not a terrible idea. Some of those faster buses especially. I think that should help. Because unemployment over here is a terrible problem. We can see quite a few decently high numbers, I would say. Not the highest, but they're they're decently high. What about all the way over here? Unemployment is uh, small pockets. You know, I could probably establish a few services here and, and take care of unemployment once and for all. I wonder if I'm able to find... Uh, I'm curious what I might want to do. We could set up some... Uh, Oh, you know what? Okay, I, I, I think I've got an idea. Where is my kindergarten option? Got the downtown daycare, right? Provides jobs and, uh, well, daycare. And it's also something we did over here, right? Uh, where are we? Over here. Again, 14 em employees. It's not that much, but it's something. And it's a fitting thing to build. Uh, so I think we'll go ahead and do that 14... Jobs provided over here. I think we'll let the, the nation build it, right? I think that makes sense. Um, 14 jobs are obviously not enough for all of our needs. Put you down over here. Yep, put you down over here like so. Go ahead and get the uh, footpath. Connection out to here, kind of ugly, but what are you going to do? Pay for that. I don't want to have our nation building um, footpaths and roads and things like that. Wasting time with those small things. We'll we'll use uh, a foreign investment for that kind of stuff. Okay, so a couple of these uh, daycares, that should help a little bit. I mean, we're really close to solving the unemployment situation over here, which is why I'm, uh, I'm doing this, because I feel like we're so close, it'd be foolish not to, you know? Um, okay, we could also take a look at maybe a pub or something. Karaoke bars, those are fun. Alright, okay, that might be fun. The Kalina Cafe. Bit of a tourist destination, I suppose. Cafe serves only alcohol, I love it. Hmm. I think it'd be quite nice, maybe, to include over here. We could, like, drop it down like so. Flatten the train a bit. I wonder how many uh, employees it takes. It takes 15 workers. Not all that much, not all that much at all. Um, okay, you know what? How about we go ahead and get the uh, the daycare again? Primary focus right now is, uh, is is trying to solve the unemployment situation because it is rather problematic. Let's go ahead and get the downtown daycare. I think down over here. 
right? Um, and rather than hook it up down there, or, you know, let's go ahead and get it up over here, I should say. I don't know why it doesn't want to hook up to the path up there. Come on. Too steep of a descent. I had a feeling it was a, it was a height thing, but I just wanted to check. Can I hike from center? What building is on fire? The cargo train station up over here. Hopefully that's being taken care of. Fire truck was called. Okay, good. Just get nervous sometimes. Just get nervous. Uh, but where are we? All the way down over here. Go ahead and level height from center. I don't think we need too much work here. Just a little bit. That should do the trick. Over to our mods. Get that downtown daycare. There it is, beauty. And the reason why I want it up here, of course, is because the footpath will allow people to come here more easily, right? We'll pop you down over here. Providing about 15 jobs. Go ahead and establish. If we get a pub down, we got to distribute, uh, distribute, sorry, alcohol to it as well. I wonder about that. We could get... Uh, under tourism, or are we tourism, tourism, attraction, I guess? Yeah. You can get something else instead. Palace is support. Okay, that's a little bit uh, much, I would say. Indoor hotel pool, like a community center kind of a thing. Make it feel like a community center, so to speak. You know, why don't we go ahead and get some sports in here? I imagine these guys don't have access to much sports. Yeah. Oh, 200 citizens unable to participate in sports. All right, let's go ahead and fix that. Gymnasium. These stadiums are going to be too big, obviously. Uh, oh yeah, I've got this ice rink as well. Pyongyang ice rink. Big sports hall. See, this This is one of those things that like... 18 workers? Seems a little small, you know? For, for something so big. And that's something I, I kind of wish I could... Tweak a bit. Olympian training halls. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> you know Pop it down right next to the other uh, kindergarten. That's uh, a very fitting place, actually, for <laughs> for an Olympian tra training hall. You know why? Why don't? Why don't we? Let's go ahead and as you as you walk by over to your daycare. Ah, okay. I don't know if this is the right spot for it, but I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Get this big sports hall over here. Provide 18 jobs. I wonder if mm, it's a little tight, isn't it? I can't put it down like this. All right, let's see what I can do. That infra can't build you to infrastructure. Blows my mind, man. I wonder if we flatten it a bit, if it'll let me... Oh, that's terrible. I don't want the building, the, the housing to be buried under... Uh, under uh, ground, you know? On the topic of underground, there is something else I want to discuss as well. I need to check first before I can even begin to... Really discuss it, I should say. Right, let's go ahead and pop you down like so. That gives us some room for footpaths at least. Um, yes, I think we're good. Right here, now auto building. Go ahead and get these footpaths down this way. Hook you up like that. Bring this one over like so. I'm trying to figure out if I want this rounded or straight. Probably straight. Let's go like that. Here, and hook this up like so. Then we can hook this up over here. Give these guys easier access. And hopefully everybody else can kind of like walk over from, from their distances there. I'm going to fund all this. Some employment in the construction as well, of course. And go ahead and pay for this too. Stuff. Let's just check the distances here. Yeah, yeah. These guys will all have access here. Good, good. So hopefully it'll take care of some of their sports needs. A little bit of employment assistance as well, of course. Uh, let's go ahead. Employment assistance. That's not what I mean. Uh, you know what I mean. It's like... Provides employment is what I mean to say. Not like unemployment checks. Employment checks and unemployment checks mean the same thing. <laughs> always, always one of those. It's like uh, uh, flammable and inflammable. Right? Um, what else? What else could we do over here? What else is missing over here? Pubs, taverns. Unable to get electronics, eh? To deal with that. Oh, I guess so. I'll need to take a look at that. Meat not coming through as readily either. Culture. Okay, let's see what we can do about culture, perhaps. We'll have to maybe make some of this underground. Uh, cinema. I could get a small, like, people's theater or something over here. Again, provides 20 jobs. Not too bad. 
Eight jobs. 50 jobs at the Naval Museum. This is not the right place for a Naval Museum. Let's get a pool hall in here. A small pool hall. The main library. Wouldn't be a terrible thing to have over here near these schools and stuff. Ample duty infrastructure. You're killing me. Alright, where is my... Um... I like this as well. Why don't I go ahead and grab a uh, regular old school cinema? Because it's pretty clunky as well, actually. Quite clunky. Chunky, I should say, rather. And I think this is probably too far away for, uh, for these guys. I don't think anybody can walk down there. Oh, you know, maybe, actually, if we connect the footpath over here. But these guys won't be able to get down there. Oh, okay. I stand corrected, I suppose. Okay, sure. Fair enough. Fair enough. So where is my... In that case, back to our mods here. Get ourselves a theater of the young viewer. Pretty fancy theater for... To be sandwiched between a car dealer and a... Uh, and a construction uh, office. Just need something. The, the Yana Czech Theater. It may be a bit uh, on the fancier side, but... Go to the infrastructure we have over here. Power lines, okay. All right, we could redo the uh, the, the power lines a bit over here. I think I need this. I need the light though before I can do that. But that's good. At least we'll uh, we'll have some more culture over here, and that'll provide some jobs as well, right? Like, let's take a look at uh, the job count. Yeah, check. Where are you? Forty jobs. It's not bad. Not bad. Uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and shift on over to our buses over here. Go ahead and move you here before someone scoops you up and sells you. I got these three buses. In fact, that's just enough for our uh, for our mines. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Just having these modern buses. Uh, uh, okay, that's pretty dope. I'm glad we're doing these upgrades. It just feels like for a, for a long playthrough especially, it just feels like the right uh, way to go about it as well it is, you know, to um can't drop people off over here because they'll distribute to various destinations. Yeah, I have to go to each mine. Um, taking this like step-by-step -step method, I think it is is the right way. Um, where we uh, why did I do this in this wrong weird order? Okay, where where we like you know it's 2006, so fine we can get 2006 um, vehicles. Uh, if it was 2012, we get 2012 vehicles. We can upgrade again. I mean, y'all let me know what you think. I think that makes sense. Uh, again, I think it uh, it makes it feel a bit more real. We stay true to our uh, true to our kind of like attempts at, at being realistic. Um, whoops, workers is what I need. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like I'm like my brain is melting on me as I'm trying to get this going while also talking. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just one of those days, I guess. But uh, all right, so Iron Mine Three has its uh, assignment. Great. All that for one. Go ahead and get you. Um, so yeah, what I'm saying is, I feel like having technological progression in our vehicles uh, makes for a more fulfilling experience. There we go. I feel like that was pretty cleanly communicated. I think it's cool. But again, I might be wrong. That's just one person's opinion, right? And I'm always willing to accept that I might be wrong. Uh, but I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, that's, that's, that's exactly why I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, because if I am wrong... I need to know so I can adjust accordingly. I think it's cool because it gives us something to do when we hit, you know, when and if we hit, I should say, 2012. It means, okay, now it's time to upgrade again. Let's go ahead and upgrade again. You know? Go ahead and scoop up just the workers here and go ahead and unload the workers here. Cool. Pick you off as well. Done. So now hopefully we're going to see more, you know, output from the mines, but also just more employment in general. I really want to see this number go lower, not higher. We're at about 9k at the beginning of this session. These mines down over here as well, I'm sure. Yeah, we have room for, for lots of people. Question is, what do we do? Do we drop them off over here? We could do that. From here, where could people reach? Not all that many spots. Not all that many spots. Here is where I think people have more options. One, two mines, and a parking lot. And the fire, fire station as well. All right, okay. We've got uh, down here, right? I don't think he's processing 
I don't think these guys need more uh, workers. They're pretty much topped up. Pretty much. I mean, a whole bus load of people isn't going to, I don't think is the right call over there. Yeah, we could get a bus to drop people off at the uh, Cableway station. I think that's not a terrible idea. Go ahead and... It's just kind of weird. Because, <laughs> like... Picking people up over here, driving all the way down to drop them off at a Cableway station. As opposed to driving them here for them to take the Cableway across. Can I have more vehicles, actually? I don't think so. Let me check. Heavy personal cabin. 12 passengers. No, I can't have more. 94 workers waiting right now. Like, are we not moving these people quickly enough? Is that the problem? You know? Let's leave these guys be for now. I, I just feels a little funny bringing, uh, using a, a bus in that way, you know? These guys are being built up. Excellent. Providing some employment over here soon to provide some culture and stuff. Let's go ahead and actually, on that note, go ahead and, uh, provide said culture. Alright, wh which, which, where are you coming from? Uprising Guide Construction Office. You, I assume. No. You. Yes. Deliver mechanisms only with trucks. Just slowing down traffic, man. Slowing down traffic. Alright, uh, so, what was I looking at? The Yanacek Theater, but for that I need to get rid of this. So this power line is coming this way. And then comes up there. Okay, so. An easy enough fix. This is why I needed the light, because I can tell for the life of me what I was looking at. Let's go ahead and get rid of... Oh, we have an open end over here. That's kind of silly. Sort that out. Go ahead and get rid of you all the way to here. In fact, I'm kind of tempted. Okay, let me check something here. Um, wattage, I guess, is what I want to check. Because I'm, I'm thinking if we switch this to underground, how bad will it be? I cancel these wires all the way up to there. Right, and I make it medium voltage. I need to actually be able to see underground. Pull you out this way. And it didn't occur to me, by the way, but you can do, you can change the height of underground stuff as well. And I apologize for not realizing that. Um, just slipped my mind completely, but you can adjust the height of underground uh, wires and stuff as well to actually go around other existing underground uh, infrastructure and stuff, which is excellent, which is absolutely excellent. All right, so let's see if this actually would pay for that, right? 0.1657. This is going to get built. Yep, very slowly. It does take some time. 1657 is the number here. Oh, there it is. You can see the construction happening. This is breaking through the kindergarten over here. I mean, I guess technically you have to, unless you bore a hole, like, over here and then go under for God knows how long and hope it doesn't collapse in on you. Is this going to be enough? Yeah, it looks like we've got enough, uh... Coming through, it looks like we're okay, right? Looks like the underground, uh... Line is, is working just fine. Alright, cool. Fantastic. I'd love to see it. So let's go ahead, back to our... Yanacek Theater. Again, this one also looks kind of fancy, I'll be honest. But, uh, I find it a bit more... Acceptable, I suppose you could say. And these giant lines. Of course, getting in the way. Back over here. Need flat terrain. Okay, let's see. What if I... What if I do this? What if I do this? What happens? Like, yeah, so this this theater also looks kind of fancy, but less fancy than the uh, the other one. Also just... Uh, it's a bit better, I think. Nah, this isn't going to fly. We're going to need an even smaller theater. Alright, I guess I might just do the one that's, um, that comes default with the game. Public theater is way too big. Go ahead. Equipment for citizens. Cinema. Five workers. Come on, man. I, that, that's, that's just it, right? I need, I need to provide more employment. I need to provide more employment. I guess at least this is some. Better than nothing. It just feels like a waste of the space, you know? Feels like there could be something better going in over here. More sports, maybe, or something. Where am I? Cinema. 
due to infrastructure. And I hook this up like that, maybe? I have my doubts. Too steep of an incline. What's going on here? Oh, that's what's going on here. Okay. Reasonable. Very reasonable. I can't complain about that. That's a that's a huge incline. <laughs> it's funny how flat it can look sometimes in this game. Then flatten all that. There we go. Let's maybe uh, drop this a bit more. And then we'll smooth it out or something, you know, just to make it feel a bit more natural, I guess. Sure, there you go. And let's go ahead and establish... Nope. Equipment. Cinema. I guess it's not just about employment, right? It should also be about uh, the other needs of the people. Let's pop you down, like, so, sure. And I mean, I guess we could make this a bit of a community center kind of a thing. I mean, we could put down our Olympian training, uh, training, uh, what's it called? Was it under school? I forget now. We have a lot of fun stuff here. School of Music and all that kind of stuff. Um, was it under sports? That would make a lot more sense. Olympian training hall. Sure, let's hook you up over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a... Mm, gym, sports hall kind of a thing, maybe down over here. That might be nice. I wonder if we can connect it, though. We'll find out shortly. It, I, I love this stuff. Going back and, like, evolving old parts of uh, the nation. It's such a cool feeling. Pick you up over here. Pick you up like that. We'll, we'll upgrade these. Let's go ahead and pay for this. It's pointed out to me I can do... You have to click and drag. Oh, what do you? Oh. Wow. Okay. I didn't know that. I did not know that. It was suggested to me in the comments a couple times, and it keeps slipping my mind. Um, lo and behold, shift, click, and drag will allow you to batch upgrade like that. That's it's amazing. Amazing. I, it's, I think it's a recent update, right? Recent to upgrade, rather, I should say. Okay, up like so. Sure. That should work. That should give people easy access to... Uh, some of these facilities over here. From all the way up over here? Yes. Excellent. Right down to the gym. Beauty. I think that's our furthest building. Fur furthest, like, uh, residential building over here. Excellent. That's gotta give people, um, jobs, right? That's gotta give people jobs and, like, stuff to do as well. Um, what am I, which, which one is it? I always work as unemployed. There we go. Uh, that should be, that should be good. Uh, also probably a good time to check on these mines. Are you coming through with 102 workers? That's good. I would like to see this number dropping, please. I'm back up. I just want to check really quickly. Do we have a blocked train down over here? Nope. Are these guys getting off? Yeah, they are. Okay, excellent, excellent. Yeah, we've got movement over here. 416 workers. Passengers still coming through here as well. I just hope they're going to, you know, more relevant places. This is, see, this is where a lot of the unemployment is. This is a huge problem. It is a huge problem. Workers aren't even able to come here because of passengers. Okay, so I believe I have some passenger buses, right? Coming up to the Kresna station. Is this, this is St. Elitesburg station. Hmm. Okay, that's good to know. That needs work. This is the uh, Fresno station. No workers over here because too many passengers. Just clogging it all up. And that bus over here is only just now arriving. This guy. Only just now arriving. He's going to pick up, what, 100 and something, right? 130 or so. Not nearly enough. And where is the next bus after him? Way too far behind. We have over 1,000 passengers waiting over here. Okay, that's ridiculous. And really, no workers. Okay. Okay, let's, um... Alright, the, the upgrades continue, right? The upgrades continue. Let's go ahead and shift you over. Let's shift you over. Well, actually, you know what I should do? Now I guess I have to shift them over first. You in here as well. 
Uh, and let's go ahead and set line. Where is the passenger line? Custom line. Uh, I even forget the, the name of the old... Um, the name of the old line. Where, where, where are we? Leedsburg, Krasna. You. Go ahead and view line detail. Rename. Krasna. St. Leedsburg passenger line. There you go. Go ahead and that line, custom line. Where is K? There it is. Off you go. You set line, custom line, Krasna. Do as well, set line. There it is, Krasna. Again, the hope is that these guys, I mean, I might want to actually, uh, I, I might want to actually send them to more end destinations to, to offload these passengers. But the, the hope is that these guys will now relieve some of the pressure on, uh, on, on, on some of these stations, man. That's wild. One worker able to show up in Seoul. That, that might be where most of our unemployment is actually coming from, is these, uh, workers not being able to go to these bus stops because we just don't have enough buses. You know, and I wonder if like there is a need to maybe get get these buses on the the highway just so they're moving a bit faster, right? Like, I don't think so. I mean, the buses on the highway is kind of a weird thought to begin with, but like, you know, if 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 the bus picks people up over here, comes up this way, gets on the highway, drives over, gets off over here, we could do this using waypoints and drops people off. It just stops them getting clogged up. And clogging up traffic as well. Hmm, something to consider. It is something to consider. Alright, well, we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. What's the deal up over here at Smolinets? These buildings are being completed and immediately being filled up. Wow, man, wow. Okay, good stuff. These guys are close to being completed. We need some boards still. I think these guys have access to them. Yeah, Zavod's construction offices are coming through, so they will have access to them. It just takes some time to get here, fair enough. Now, what's the deal, actually, with these? No workers still down over here. Why is that? I've got buses coming through. Where's my bus? I gotta see what's going on over here. I gotta see what's going on over here, because something, something, something's not right. Something's not right. I'm gonna follow this guy in his loop. Because we should at least have some workers, like we have some coming through. They're all coming up over here. No one's coming down over there. I wonder if I should get some of those faster, uh, faster buses up over here, right? More modern buses. I also wonder if I should get a, get a road down over here. Get snap turned off over here. Just to make sure that we're able to not take this giant loop and, and come back in a, in, a, in a more efficient kind of a way. Maybe flatten the train over here a little bit. This would be the perfect spot, I think. We could flatten the train a bit over here. How is this bus faster than that bus? Damn, I didn't cacked up. These guys are, are much faster. Okay, well, I might uh, swap some of these buses out. Let me go ahead and... Right from center. Oh, I think this is going to be a pain. Not going to fly. Don't know if I can... Do kind of a multi-part kind of a thing over here. Maybe. Beauty, there you go. Shift, click, and drag. Done. Will it auto-build? No, I guess I have to have auto-build checked. Either way, that'll help the buses a lot. A lot. All right, you. So you come through. There's 80 workers waiting over here. 84, 85, sure, 86. You come through, you pick them all up. Like, I'm trying to figure out, is this a uh, bus problem? Is this a... Uh, 
um, you know, just workers coming to the bus stop problem? Like, what kind of a problem? Where is where is this problem, you know? Is the, you know, the speed of the bus? I don't think so. If the buses were moving any faster, we wouldn't be, you know, supplying any more workers. Up over here, you're able to get down there as well. Like, I, I think we might just need to send more workers, tell more, assign more workers to this bus stop. That's what it's feeling like right now. Though, truth be told, this is extremely slow. You, you gotta be kidding me. Line spacing is disabled. Finally picking up the pace. I guess that was an uphill struggle. Yeah, seems to be the case. What another thing I need to do is I need to get the highway construction up over here uh, ASAP. As some of you pointed out in the comments, um, it'll just speed up our, our rate of work, not just at smaller nets, but at everything else that's to come up over here. That's definitely something that I wanted to tackle sooner rather than later as well, but I guess the em employment matters uh, took over for a bit longer than I'd anticipated, I suppose. But I'm glad we did them. I'm glad we did them because they were a necessary... Uh, element, uh, a necessary task, I think. We're gonna stop here, not gonna get anybody off, of course, though. We, we, uh, that's, that's the plan. That's all good. But I wonder now if I shouldn't change that plan, you know, just to force, I think anybody who gets dropped off over here will end up at this, uh, at this mine. They're not producing enough power. Okay. Now I come over here, you're gonna drop off 70% of workers, right? 70% of workers. Where do they all go? A bunch of them going up there. Some of y'all coming down over here. Yeah, I think I just gotta assign where these workers go. Where, where, where are you going? You're just gonna go all the way up over here? You're gonna, you'd rather climb this hill to work over here rather than come down to this mine. You for real. Yeah. Lots of engineers, very few workers. Hmm. That doesn't help. That's funny. Okay, look, here's what we're going to have to do. Because the, the point of this bus stop is to spread between these two uh, spots, right? And can I actually get a footpath connection up like so? Too steep of an incline. Payments. Desires for reasonable uh, path construction. Do a descent. Hmm. Not the end of the world. I just have to go a longer way around. Oh, come on. Thought that worked out. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and actually, yes, tell this bus stop where people need to go. I don't like doing this, but I guess I have to. Until we have a very huge overflow of workers coming through. That. A couple more people at the mine, I think. Yeah, this is going to be uh, interesting. It's going to be interesting. We should uh, maybe get some parking lots over here or something. I think it's time to start building uh, an expansion to Small Nets. Get these guys built up over here. Just so we have more people to, to send here. We can like flood workers at, uh, at, at parts yet. And make sure there's a spread of workers. And enough variety of workers and engineers too. Let's not forget that's also important. <laughs> Still nobody down over here, eh? That's just silly. And again, another option is rather than doing this, rather, you know, here, here's what I can do. I can instead get these buses to drop, let's say, unload, uh, what, 20% over here? Yeah, let's, let's try that. And that'll, I think, force people to, to work over here. Because that's the only workplace they can reach. They can still get to these, uh facilities up there. Damn. It was well built. It's actually quite, it's quite good. To be perfectly honest, that is actually decently positioned and stuff, but it's not working out for what we need. Uh, okay, so uh, a couple things I want to tackle really quickly. There was a suggestion with regards to establishing um, a metro, like a you know subway, like su subways. Now, the thing about doing subways is that even though we can now, yes, see underground, um, can we? Hmm. I don't think we have the liberty to place tunnels as we might wish. See, because like you need to, you need to have raised terrain for the tunnel to come through. And once you do that, it's not that you can just build your junctions as you wish. You have to go from point to point with tunnel construction, unless I'm mistaken. 
unless I'm mistaken, you have to go point to point with uh, with tunnel construction. See, because if I try to put a, if I'm in underground view, right, and I try to put some tracks down, it doesn't matter if I raise or lower terrain, I'm still placing that track on the surface. So I don't think I can do, I'm going to like the idea, I thought it was a really cool idea, but I don't think I can do, um, do, a, do a subway system, do a metro system, uh, again, because tunnels are end to end, they have to be, you know, underground at both ends, um, You'd have to be surface level to build stations, so I think there's a few too many limitations there uh, to actually allow us to do that, um, as cool as the idea is. All right, unemployment is looking better already. This is good. Lower, I think, than we started the session with. I think that's at least partly because we've got these guys hopefully seeing some, some action now. This is where the uh, other problem lies, is like we have these slow buses now slowing down our faster buses. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. We're okay. Things are looking better. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at... Uh, well, I'm glad to see all the, the smiley faces of this. This is what I want to look at. I mean, it's definitely... The numbers are looking a lot better, I would say. Rickstonia has tiny little bits of pockets of unemployment. I don't think it's the end of the world. You're going to have some here and there anyway. Right? Uh, looking good over here. And I feel like a couple more... A couple more jobs here and there, and we'll, we'll have uh, this space solved... Very close to solving the situation down over here as well. Looking good. Looking good. Looking real good. Now, I wonder if we get, like, another hospital or something. Maybe another, like, outdoor pool or something somewhere over here. It'll make the tourists happy. It'll also give some of these guys some more jobs. Like, working in the tourism industry over here, these guys. Got some spots available over here. Okay, this is not looking too bad. Not able to get electronics, though. I should really sol uh, solve that. should sort that out. I guess they're just not able to drive down to... A lot of them aren't able to drive down to get, uh, get electronics or anything. Now here's here's the big problem still. At least we have more workers coming through at the St. Elitesburg bus station now. Which is promising, right? Do they actually end up with jobs? Wait. You guys go all the way down to here. And then from here, where do they go? They go over to this uh, to the train station. And they get shipped down to here, where there's only so many jobs available. Oof, I don't, I don't know. I need to do something about this space. A lot of unemployment over here and over here. This is just absolutely horrendous. Though our passenger buses have clearly made a dent. We had over a thousand passengers waiting at one point, right? So they've clearly already made a difference, it looks like. Um, that's promising. These workers, where do these workers go, right? Where do we send them? What other jobs can I provide them? Send a bunch of them down to uh, over here, right? I think I already am. I'm coming from Krasna down to here. 120 workers still being carried back. Why is that? Why is that? Do we really not have room for, for 120 workers? Not even 120, but like, you know, 10, 20, 30. They can be dropped off. That always throws me off. That's, what's, that's what confuses me from time to time. It's like, why aren't these guys getting off of this bus station and going to these multitudes of jobs that are available to them? You know? Throws me off. Throws me off every time. And I'm just not sure what to what to do about that. God, we gotta provide a lot more jobs. 308 over here. Got people no staff up over here. I could have sworn, you know what? Alright, here we go. Back up over here. All these buses. Are we not selling? Are you trying to drop off at the car dealer? You know what I should do is I should add a new stop at the end of this. Unload. Whatever doesn't get dropped off at the Betzerinkograd car dealer, you just unload. Though, actually, what I should do is I should swap the Betzerinkograd car dealer out for, uh, for this guy up over here. Where is he? Go ahead and... And you in there. Krasna, or Krasna rather. Unload vehicles, of course. That can be anything. I bet you in Kugad, let's go ahead and get rid of you. Go. Drop these guys off. This bus needs to be. And then whatever doesn't get unloaded here 
goes to Brahara to get exported. Wonderful. I think that works nicely. Um, I still have some electricity issues, as you can see. Not just with the warnings down over here, but uh, with the flashing lights, with the uh, the disco, the uh, the rave that's playing right now. Uh, we'll definitely sort that out, but um, that's something for, I think, next time. Uh, yeah, okay, so what was I going to do? I was going to do this. I was going to go all the way up over here. I'm going to get some of these buses. One, two, three. Do I seriously not have a line for workers to come up over here yet? All related vehicles. We have the iCare 280s. Picking up students. Picking up workers. Minister's shuttle bus, yes. But what's your problem? Why are we not grabbing any workers? Can't tell me both of them were, uh... We got, like, nothing on them. I was gonna send some of these more modern buses to, uh, to deal with these, uh, ministers. But, uh... Or not to deal with, but to, but to give, uh... Give, get, get more, get more workers up there, but, um... Deal with. But, uh... Seems that's not the problem. That line, these vehicles. Let's go ahead and get you guys started. At least to modernize these lines, right? Bully would surely get, uh, get something going over here. It's just cool to have these new buses out and about. Cool to have a bit of a uh, modernization going on. Episode 200 plus, get, uh, you know, get the, get the future coming here finally. The future, it's the present now. Sorry, right, buddy. Around this bend. Where'd you go? Damn, you tricked me. It is really sick, though. We've got, we've got a lot of really cool stuff going on right now. I mean, we've got, uh, the highways seeing a lot of, act, a lot more action than we were, we were, we were getting previously. I, I quite like that. That's been nice to see. Uh, we've got, um, you know, nuclear power, hopefully, soon. Workers are actually getting jobs, hopefully, soon. It's all soon, it's all soon. But, like, we're, we're, we're just going back and, 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 and improving the living conditions for, for quite a few, I think, families, for quite a few uh, citizens, and making sure everyone has work, everyone has access to culture and sports and stuff like that. I, I don't think that's a, I think that's a good use of, uh, of some time, because we've been neglecting some of these issues for a while, like I've been saying, right? And, uh, and hopefully, hopefully, these uh, solutions are exactly that, you know, solutions. We're not just uh, pointlessly, needlessly making some moves over here. What is the problem with some of these buses? It's, it's the... No, you're just driving slowly on the bridge, I guess. Yeah, huh. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to modernize to, uh, to solve some of our problems over here, folks. But, that... And the development of our highway up over here, and perhaps even also something that was suggested was the establishing of, uh, uh where, where, oh man, I forget now where it is. There we go. Establishing some, like, asphalt and stuff over here. All that, I think, will, uh, will have to happen next time. I'm, uh, I'm, oh no, am, am I committed to this now? There we go. <laughs> Otherwise, it's coming with this square. Pop the square down over here to create a nice little complex kind of look over here. Pop that down right now. I always get so hesitant. I always get so concerned about uh, about these kinds of moves. You never know if it'll actually work. This should be nice. Hmm. It's okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Get in there. Let's get in there. So I guess this won't be waiting until next time. It's happening right now. Nice and nice and clean. Go ahead and upgrade road to an asphalt road. There you go. Yeah, that's a start, and I, mean, I guess we could do the rest of it as well. Um, under that, let's go. I wonder if we do like a gravel square and, and, and put down like a tree or something up over here. We could do some do some fun stuff. There you go. <laughs> little uh, green space. Uh, we could get uh, the square this just makes it feel like a, again like a complex right that kind of a thing this up to there 
Yeah, there's something to this. A suggestion from the comments to do this, and I quite, uh, quite like it. Um, why don't we go ahead and upgrade? Or rather, not upgrade, but maybe get rid of you. There we go, I think that's a bit a bit better. Question is what to do up there. The, the, the only problem is that this looks kind of strange <laughs> in this way. But hey, you know what? From from up on high, which is where we usually see it from, I think it looks pretty good. Just makes it feel, yeah, like a like a like a unit, as it were. I think at least. Y'all yeah, let me know what you think. But folks, we have done, I think, okay to a degree. Still some issues over here. I think uh, I think this will need some serious, yeah. Some serious work. Uh, we've really got like allowed unemployment to just get completely out of control over here. Between Krasna and uh, and and Saint Elitsburg, it's just through the roof. What's the deal over here? If we take a look at um, maybe I should get some city halls down. Provides employment and also gives me some more detailed information. But this is looking like. You know, over a thousand maybe. Uh, just a quick uh, eyeball of the number of 250s I see. You know, four of those makes a thousand. One, two, three, four, five. Holy crap! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight thousand unemployed. Plus probably more. This is probably ten. This is probably. Holy crap! Hold on. Am I doing my math right there? 250 times four is a thousand. Each of these has approximately 250. Each of these is a block of four. I'm ignoring these top ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Autosave is slowing me down here. Seven, eight, approximately. Thousand. Eight thousand. And then you add... You got 900. You got 1,200. You got... Oh my god, I think this is like 9,000 of our unemployed are like right from over here. Let's go ahead and establish uh, an accounting hall. We'll see what the situation is. Uh, between Kresna and St. Elitsburg, and we'll uh, we'll try and solve that next time alongside establishing maybe our highway over here and, and seeing how all this kind of comes uh, to hopefully fruition. I would like to see. Oh, still no workers coming over here? You kidding me? All right. Lots to do, folks. Looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. If you are, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in just letting me know that y'all are interested and that you would like to see more Workers and Resources Soviet Republic on this channel. As always, a... Massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Das Vidanya.